is today's episode we're gonna celebrate little brothers <laughs> I, at first I, I know i told you brothers but we just gonna go with little brothers like you know i would have ranked them but i'm not sure how the fuck we're supposed to rank these people so this is not even the top 10 it's pretty much just top little brothers uh-huh. so let's uh roll let me see let's roll with it go uh, down uh, Man, I'm still trying to figure out um, who how to fuck with more, him or Bray. He gotta fuck with Howdy more. I mean, who I'm trying to see who, uh, which one of the brothers how to fuck with more? Bo, oh, Bray. Bo, Bo, he fuck with Bo more. Yeah. Hey, Bray, Bray, Bray started acting all funny and shit and all that. He like, went hard what? behind Bray, though. Bray started acting all spooky. Like, like damn, dog, that's fair enough. What, what you doing? Why you acting like that? Like, <laughs> are you acting funny, huh? Like, oh, okay. Like, I just want my money back. You know what I'm saying? All right. Bo oh, Dallas man. looking like he, Bo Dallas was like, man, y'all got on twisted, man. Let me let me go to let me go to the general manager and get this straightened out. Cause he, he <laughs> like. Like that whole that whole headshot thing was a mistake, you know. If I wanted to do it, he could have done it. You know what I'm saying? Like I seen him do it before, so it nah. just didn't sit right with me, you know. He was just he was just trying to show things right, and you know what? This is why he the first dude on this list, dog. That's a top little brother for you. He's such a good little brother. He's starting to look like the skinny version of his big brother. Yeah, sounded like him too. Yeah, like he he pretty much embraced Bray Wyatt. Uh, yeah. Um, I hate this. I hate to see that how they how how they and Bray couldn't get a, get along like we like would. What well, they did towards the end, they did towards the end. You know how they did jump in for both for uh against Bobby. You know, yeah, it, it didn't go too well. But you know how how they had his issues in his first run. Cause they out there yet. Speaking of staying off that yak, Jeff Hardy, get your ass up here, boy. That's what I'm talking about. Keen Keen knew how to do it, boy. Transition, transition. Jeff Hardy. You got that great little brother if you think about it. Brother Nero. Like, yeah, you had your moments, but, you know, you kind of selfish on some shit. Like, you put Matt in a bad position. Everybody got to keep asking Matt questions about your lifestyle. You know, Matt probably just trying to ball and chill. Don't don't do his hair. You know, play with his wife. You know, like you know, like we all trying to do. Eight kids he got. Like, come on, man. Like, but every time you see Matt, you're like, "Hey, what's up with Jeff?" He, you know, then he puts it aside. He doing all right, huh? Then you like, he like, yeah. You sure, huh? <laughs> <laughs> We've we been there. Like, you've been out now. He's been good. He's staying clean, getting his life together. She. You sure, huh? All right. All right. Sure about that? You sure about that? But outside of that, dude, uh, he's probably one of the few people on this list that's. Arguably more accomplished than a big brother. Yeah. Is he? Yeah. Not, I mean, not by that much, though. But so we'll just edge Jeff Hardy in this one. Jeff is like a three time world champion. That's it, true. People always more gravitate more to Jeff, man. And not the like, win. he out in TNA. Another that's another situation they, they were just going crazy over, over Jeff Hardy and it's like oh, it's dude it's dude rolling right now y'all y'all can't keep supporting that <laughs> you know, I guess Dixie Carter like look look I had you seen how I had Kurt huh I don't give a fuck yeah <laughs> chunking these ratings up <laughs> pass him another one yeah <laughs> but all right my bad Jeff we we off that now we good we good so my next one was Jay. But then I say, you know what? I'm going to let them nine. I ain't going to worry about them nine minutes. Solo to the little brother. Yeah. Like, like, 
I, Jimmy and Jay, y'all, y'all both could be big better on this one. Solo. Solo then stepped up, became the tribal chief. He and I, he, and I feel like people not respecting that. <clears throat> that he went he went from the enforcer to where he leading the group. Like y'all act like y'all act like he's not gonna be in the main event at war games going against tri- the other tribal chief in Roman Reigns. And not to mention, he the only one that got Jacob Fatu uh kind of controlled. I'm about to say that's vital for when the Rock come back because apparently Jacob looking for what, what the Rock gave Cody. Mm-hmm. Me and Keem is we watching the details of this shit. We, we this 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 for y'all. Like y'all, when Jacob won't come out there, rah, 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 don't disrespect my tribal chief, you know. And then he gonna look at the Rock like. And the rock fire peace out, like you know, I know he find you know he'll find a boss. He's like, look, look, shit, look. I got I got I'm about, I'm looking for Cody Rhodes. I got the new belt, you know. I, that's all I was doing. I, we, we we could talk off camera, Jake, you know. <laughs> but uh yeah, uh solo, solo. Uh I you got you gotta give solo his props for what he became because what people expected. And when you sit there, when you take a step back and see what he was doing with the quiet, no talking thing, like he couldn't turn into the white meat baby face, you know? Mm-hmm. I doubt it, though. I doubt it. I, I couldn't see it. I could see him betraying Roman Reigns, but the fans gonna give up on him quick anyway, you yeah. know. So I, I, yeah, I'm not I'm not mad at him, man. And them chains, dope. Y'all stop acting like y'all got those type of chains, man. <laughs> type of cheap shit. Like I don't think Roman had that type of ice. <laughs> you know, hey, look, I, I, the, you know what? That must be a Uso thing because the Usos used to have those chains, and Solo and Solo got them now. I must be for Rikishi people. You know? Rikishi be like, hey, look, look, you know what? Look, that that's 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 not that's not, you know what I'm saying? This this that, you know, my brother, that's my brother kids, you know what I'm saying? My kids gonna go iced out to the ring. Fuck that. <laughs> yeah. And speaking of that, I don't know who's the little brother, him or him or Umaga. Uh I I don't know. You know what? I'm gonna just say Umaga, because yeah. because Rikishi was the big homie who was in them streets talking, and I felt like that's the mature thing to do. So <laughs> U- Umaga was the little brother, and you know he acted like a little brother, crazy, <clears throat> rah rah rah, fucking shit up. You know what I'm saying? Like beating up old people and all that. You know, beating up movie stars because they're not selling. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Shout out Umaga, that dude's a fucking legend, man. <laughs> And his um his manager, Armando Alejandro Estrada. Oh, I'm about to say Enrique Iglesias. Man, this dude's st- I thought that was his name. I ain't gonna lie to you. Like, like, <laughs> clearly, I wasn't gonna take a picture with him. I seen him, so you know. <laughs> um, yeah, and it, I'd be shocked if Keith's a little brother, but hey, if he's a little brother, then damn. It's ready to see the little brother mature that early in life, you know. You must see make a difference. Cody Rhodes. Adrenaline in my nose. Oh, how damn it's Cody Rhodes. Taking a you know. bump. <laughs> you know, you know how his daddy used to get down. Come on, baby. Baby. Yeah, Fla, I know you. I, I I know you took more than you was supposed to. You're trying to help us hide all the good shit. This summer, this summer, Greensboro finest. <laughs> they fucking like a monkey, baby. But uh, of course, gotta put Cody Raheem Rose on the list. Yeah, like uh, brother job, still employed there. You know. Cody Rhodes, another definition of little brother. Boy, did the gold, the Stardust gimmick. You yeah. Know? And plus, they they hold each other down like a motherfucker. Like, I don't think they even had a rivalry. Like, they went, they, didn't they go against each other, but they didn't have a rivalry, did they? Uh, 
no, yeah. I don't even think they nah. Cause they tag they teamed up in WWE and then like one of the first pay per views, him and Dustin uh, had a match, but it wasn't like no beef or no shit. It was just like right. hey, let's wrestle bitch. Okay, all right. I thought so. I thought so. All right. The other side of my list. I feel like we we went through this before, and I still get it wrong. Was Booker T and Stevie Ray brothers or not? They were they were real brothers. Okay, Booker T's the little brother, clearly. Yeah. All right. Shit, Booker T probably the best best little brother on here. Then. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Wait. Oh wait, wait, wait. I just I, here's a real conversation here. There's a conversation here. Hear me out. Booker T or Jeff Hardy? Yeah, real conversation, huh? Book the team. People gonna look at you crazy for that. And I agree with you, nigga. Yeah, book a team, man. Like, you know, the dude went from calling Hulk Hogan a nigga to king of wrestling. I've catch up. How, how many of y'all wish y'all could do that? I, they got Russell's writing. I bet if Carmelo Hayes wish he, I bet he would call Hulk Hogan a nigga if he could be the, the, the king of wrestling a few months after or a few years later. Like, Booker T is a legend. Legend. <laughs> and yeah, one of the best little brothers on here, you know? Yeah. Stevie, Stevie, Stevie Ray was cold chilling, you know what I mean? Wasn't tripping on nothing. Them boys talking that shit to the ring. <laughs> oh, gee. Better hurt somebody. My yeah. God, shut the fuck out. Yeah. Hey, you know what? That's probably where the Usos get that shit from. Yeah. Man, just, talk, just talking straight shit to the ring. Like, yeah, you, you got like these dudes, man. Speaking of... Oh, you, what you got to say? Um, they were supposed to be like some slaves. Who that? All them heat. Oh, that was the original gimmick? Yeah, it was supposed to be like some slaves, like fucking slave on to come well uh, the dude Colonel Robert Parker come out there and let them off the chain or whatever, and they just run away rough, rough shots. Woo! Put them in a little racist. Yeah, thank goodness for Harlem Heat, huh? That, that's way more gangster. And that fucking music was gangster, man. Shout out to Harlem Heat. Uh, <clears throat> Rick was the younger brother of the Steiners, right? Don't tell me Big Papa Pump was was the, was the younger brother. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Scott Steiner was the younger brother. That's Steiner the younger brother. You know what? <clears throat> that makes sense. That it's always a little, it's always a little brother get out of hand. Size. Huh? I said, that's why you so fixated on size. <laughs> it's always the little brother get out of he hand. Instead of trying to brother, prove that point. The little brother who get extra swole, die, die his hair, you know. I'm better, you know, like, you don't got to do all that. You, you're like, we know who you are. You good? Nah, I got to do more. <laughs> the muscle on top of muscle looking like fucking cartoons and shit. Like, God damn. You know. But you know what? This this is another one. Hey, there's a trend going on here. The little brothers are actually being more accomplished than the big brothers in this. In, in this, I never even paid attention to that. But yeah, Scott Steiner with Rick Steiner. Yeah. All right. This one's not a debate at all. The big brothers clearly more accomplished in this Bret Hart. Yeah. Now the on, you know, you are the little brother in this one. But you are probably the definition of little brother because, you know, as good as you was, motherfucker, brother legend. Yeah. Like, break run for fucking president of Canada. <laughs> I, I, I don't know, you know. Man. Owen, no disrespect. I, I mean this with all due respect. It's like the Tupac thing, you know. Tupac stopped rapping, you know. You stopped wrestling. 
you know, not right. your fault. But I can't keep I can't keep holding you at this highest thing when other people eventually pass you up. So you know, all right, Peter. I like you better than I like Owen better than Brett, but as far as resumes, I know what it triple. is. Triple. Huh? That's it. Triple. Who me? Hey. What happened? Owen, Owen better than Brett. I said I like them better than Brett. Oh, you say oh, all right. I like, his, I like his style. He wasn't no hell no, he wasn't better than Brett. Unfortunately, like I ain't gonna say unfortunate, but Brett, Brett a top 10 wrestler all the time. I can't I can't deny that. He, he was the face of the he was the face that run the place between Hogan and HBK. Shout out to Brett, you know. I these last three. It's just three I wrote down just for the fuck of it. Because I don't know who was young out of offense seeker. You? So fuck no. You know what? It don't even matter. Both of them look crazy and both of them we wouldn't fuck with. That's 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 a fact. It's a a little too aggressive with y'all, you know, a little too much going on. Don't don't even call neither one of y'all little brother, sir. You know. Hey, y'all ain't gonna know what the hell I ain't gonna braid it up or nothing. I nah, just, 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 okay, all right. I mean, no, no, no heat over here. Yeah, no heat. Uh, Shane is the little brother of Stephanie, right? Yeah, no, uh, it's vice versa. Uh, yeah, well, he ain't made the list then. It's all right, all right, all right, all right. you know what? Shout out to Stephanie. I guess you could be a little better for this episode. I like you better than Shane. So, you know. Man. Yeah. You like Shane better than Stephanie? Fuck no. Oh, okay. I'm like, I can't think of nothing Shane Fuck did. No. I'm like, he the man. Other than it, it's not Stephanie, nice. Stephanie stood in the ring against some fucking giants, my G. Like, she took some abuse in the 90s and the 2000s. She was in the I Quit Match versus Vince. Lame, <laughs> but yeah, I can't think of nothing Shane do that. I'm like, fucking right, here comes Shane, here comes the money. Like, facts. Like, the one thing I can say about Stephanie, she had to stand across from the rock, Triple H, Chris Jericho, Stone Cold. She had to hold her on against them, like, at least stand on, stand, stand on her own two feet. <laughs> and, I mean, I don't know. She had a decent match with Ronda Rousey. That's more memorable than any match I've seen with Shane. Yeah. I think Stephanie had a, a decent match with Nikki Bella. Am I wrong? Uh, It was Brie Bella. It was Brie? I think when yeah. she was actually doing, like, decent. It was all right. Better than Shane. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck Shane. <yeah. laughs> All right, speaking of Nikki and Bree, I, I clearly I ran out of brothers. You know, I ain't gonna put Terry Funk and Dory Funk. I don't, I don't, I, don't, I, I know Terry Funk, I don't know Dory Funk like that or whatever the other dude name is. So, you know, don't shoot me for that. Bree, who's this? Who's the young one? I Bree and Nikki. I think Bree might be the oldest. She seemed like it, huh? She definitely. You know, like, all safe and shit, you know. Nikki out you wearing the high shorts with the baseball cap. Wow. Like, oh, okay, you trying to have fun. Wow. Know? Yeah. Bree look like the one that's you be careful here, you know. Yeah, she's more conservative. Yeah, you know, the group, the group, the group, the group texting Nikki phone, and they see you can bring your sister if you want. <laughs> she don't want to bring her, but you know. Oh man. But that's all the people cap off my little brother list. Uh, shout out to shout out to the little brothers. If you think about it, look, Jeff Hardy. If you want to go with Jay Uso over Jimmy, uh, Cody Rhodes, Umaga is probably more accomplished than Rikishi. Just saying, uh, Rikishi brothers, they not. You sure they not? 
Uh, I'll look it up. Booker T more confident than Stevie. Scott Stein more confident than Rick. And uh, what well, the rest of them are probably don't matter. Let me look up this. Uh, what I'm looking up again? Oh, Rikishi and uh, Umaga. Let's see. Umaga. Let's see. Personal life. Mm. I don't know. I thought it was. Yeah, that's funny. Yeah, but I said it says his cousin is uh Rosie. Fuck. Uh, let's see. Ah damn. He has two other brothers who are also professional wrestlers, Sam and Salofa, which is Rikishi. Yeah, okay. That's his brother. Oh yeah. All right. Huh? That's the old shit. Yeah, yeah. These motherfuckers deep. Stop talking. People crazy when they got that tattoo, King. <laughs> but uh, that's all I got for the brothers. As a little brother myself, fuck the older brother. I'm a little brother, but I got sister, so I ain't tripping. All right. <clears throat> that's it, man. 